Hi everyone, it's Kerry from KC Creations today um, and I thought I would bring to you a technique that I've been using and, and enjoying uh, called Faux Velvet. I saw it in a card making magazine uh, so some of you might be familiar with it already but I thought it was a really good simple technique to use. What it involves is um, stamping on the background of some card with a background stamp that has some fine detail. I chose um, parlour prints from Stamping Up, so it's got a very fine detail. Um, and then stamped it with white craft ink, dried it, and then stamped over it with with the um, solid stamps. Uh, the solid stamps I used were from uh, Summer Silhouettes from Stamping Up. Um, I really like this this set. It's um, really versatile. So uh, that was the, the stamp I used to uh, stamp over it. Just have to make sure that you stamp each time you stamp. You actually clean the stamp, or you end up with bits of white um, ink, even though you dry it. Bits of white ink on the on the solid stamp and in the ink pad. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to ink up just part of this background stamp because I'm actually only going to be stamping uh, this small portion of card this time. Just as a demonstration. So just stamp it up with white crafty. Okay, so I'll just do it this way just to make it quicker. I do often use um, my background stamps upside down. It seems to be easier because of the size of them. Okay, push that a bit later. Okay, so um, I'll just actually dry this with the heat gun and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now and I've got my, my um, piece of card with the embossing on the background of it. And so we'll start off I always find it's easier to stamp the leaves first because uh, it's easier to, to fit the flowering around the leaves than vice versa. So I'm just using old olive um, ink. I'm going to get myself a, a, a block to use. Okay, so just using the leaves from just stamp off the, um, the design and like I said make sure you clean it between each use um, or it will pick up the white ink and then spread it everywhere okay now just keep stamping this. I mean the thing that takes the longest in this one is actually cleaning the stamp between the uses. Okay and where I've stamped over the background stamp the white fine detail of the background stamp has picked up or well, has been picked up by the solid stamp. Okay so that's the leaves. I think that will do for the leaves. And so I'm using strawberry slush for the actual flowers. Okay, again, start off with it off the um, off the card. Give it a clean. Again, give it a clean. I always find a wet washer before I put it in the stamp cleaning pad. It just keeps the pad a little bit cleaner. And let's see, we stagger that a little bit. Once again.
there's a clean. And one more time. And each time it's stamped, it's picking up the detail in the back white background. And I think maybe one more time for stamping off a little bit there. And I think that looks pretty good. And so what we've got is a really nice detail in the in the flowers from the background. 